it's Chris Chara. I'm an application engineer here at Trimex Solutions out of Knoxville, Tennessee. And today I'm asking why should you care about partial fillets? So partial fillets are something new in 2019. Um, and unless you're making some really cool consumer products, injection molded like this, uh, which you're probably not, why should you care about partial fillets? Because the parts you're making probably look a little more like this, right? If you recall, um, about a year ago, I did a webinar that I'm sure all of you watched called Design for Manufacturing or 10 Things Machinists Hate. I talked about a specific thing here. And this is a fillet or a chamfer running up on a vertical member like this. Now the tool used to create this fillet, or if I convert it, no chamfer, the tool used to create that has a certain width. It is not possible for it to go all the way up and create this perfect line here. This last little bit needs to be done with hand tools, files, something like that, or you know, if it's a really nice machine, there's a way to get around it. So it can be done, but it can't be done with the same bit that's filleting the rest of your parts. So as we look at the SolidWorks Cam and feature-based machining, we're looking at the fillet feature. It's going to want to run this as one feature, one fillet, uh, all the way around the part wherever we have fillets or chamfers. That's how it's going to want to run it. The problem is it's going to run into our vertical post here, the tool is. So how do we get around that? Go ahead and delete this. It's very simple. I just choose the fillet that I want. Say 0.1 inch is fine. But what I'll do is come down here to this partial edge parameters. When I select that, we'll see two little dots appear at the edge of my fillet. And I can just back that off a little. How much do I need to back it off? You can just ask your machinist. How far off does he want it back? Ask the machine shop that you're sending it to. Um, you know, figure out the size of the fillet or chamfer tool and back off that amount. And there you go. There's your partial fillet. You can go ahead and finish that with a different feature. Just convert entities on this little face here and go ahead and do an extrude cut up to next or up to surface and you are good to go. One thing to note here, uh, if I were to try and do this as a chamfer, let me flip this around to the other side. So as a chamfer, we'll see I don't really have the option here to do this partial. So if I grab that edge there, I don't have any little dots here. Um, there's nothing under my options here. I'm assuming this is going to come out here in the future. For now, what you're going to need to do is create it as a fillet. We'll say it's 0.1 fillet. And then just right click on that fillet and convert that to a chamfer. Again, 0.1 chamfer. But now we have those partial edge parameters. I can pull that off. And we have a partial chamfer and a partial fillet. So that's maybe you don't care, uh, but your machinist cares or your machine shop cares. So again, my name is Chris Jorn. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at support at trimac.com or 888 trimac.